Hello, this is Gray with a fresh word for you for today. Many churches around the world at this time are observing a Lent. Lent is the 40 days to Easter where people take time to, it's actually 46 days less than Sundays, but they take time to, excuse me, they take time to, to fast, to, to let go of things in their life for the 40 day period. Um, but there are other Christians that do not observe this, which is absolutely fine. Um, I, I don't, I don't see any issues. There. But, 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 but here's the thing. Here, here's what I want to say. For those people that do not observe Lent, it is still a good time to sit and reflect on your life and think, what can I let go in life? And, 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 and for those also that uh, do observe Lent, can I just challenge you? And say that while we're looking at giving up telly, um, food and whatever, let's let's dig deeper and see what else we can leave for all of us. What is what is it at this time that we can we should consider? It should be at the top of the list for for giving up on land. And, and that thing, that thing is sin. Yeah, it's sin. First John 1 um, verse 8 says, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. You and I know what we do, how we live. So rather than looking at the superficial things that we ought to leave just for the practice of it, let us practice being holy. Let us practice living out sin. Let's take out gossip for these 40 days. Let us take out lying for these days. Let us take out uh, stealing or whatever it is, whatever addiction that, that that shames you before the throne of God, whatever it is that holds you down. And I'm not just talking about you and about, it's about me as well. Let us, these 40 days, live without sin. I think if there's one thing that's worthy to let go during this period, and that should be it. That same chap chapter, First John 1, verse 5 and 6, it says, This is the message that we have heard from you and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. Here's the thing. If we claim to have fellowship in him and yet walk in darkness, we lie, do not leave out the truth. For you to sit and say, this is my Lent, I am giving up all of this, but not include sin. And we claim to have fellowship with him. The Bible says that we are lying. And yet verse 9 says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. But we cannot stand up and say, I'm not going to let go of sin because I do not sin. Verse 10 says, if we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar. And his word is not in us. You and I, his word is in us. So for this month, for these 40 days, let's do away with sin. Whatever, whatever form that comes in your life, let's all do away with sin. Psalms 139, verse 23 and 24 says, search me, O Lord. And know my heart. Test me and know my, my, my anxious thoughts. It says, see if there's anything in me that is offensive. And lead me in a way in, in, in the way everlasting. That should be our prayer. And say, Heavenly Father, you know me. You know where I live. You know where I walk. Show me the things that are in me that do not please you. And these are the things I need to let go during this time of Lent. Let's, let's do that. Let's let go of sin in this Lent. God bless you.